In this organic study, what we're doing is we're comparing a lot of different treatments to look at the whole systems approach to organic blueberry production. Hi, I'm Bernadine Strick. Hi, I'm Dave Bryla. I'm Dan Sullivan. I'm Ryan Costello. My name is Luis Valenzuela. Tendel Larco. I'm Emily Vollmer. Hi, I'm Gil Buller. So first of all, we're comparing flat ground production and raised bed production. And in addition to that, we have two different varieties. We have an early season variety, Duke, and we have a late season variety, Liberty. Nitrogen use among these different varieties might be quite different. In addition to raised beds and varieties, we have fertilization treatments. We're comparing two types of organic fertilizers, fish emulsion and feather meal at a low rate and a high rate. Our low rate for the first three years of this study is 25 pounds of nitrogen an acre, and our high rate is 50 pounds of nitrogen an acre. And our final set of treatments are weed management treatments. We have weed mat, or landscape fabric, which organic growers are very interested in using because it seems to be so effective as a weed control product and we're comparing that to a more industry standard of a Douglas fir sawdust mulch, about two to three inches deep. And our final treatment is a sawdust plus compost. So we have a layer of compost, which is yard debris compost, topped with sawdust. And in that particular system, not only are we hand weeding, which we're doing in the other two treatments, but we're also studying different types of organically approved products that we might use as contact herbicides. And that includes acetic acid or vinegar, green match, which is a, a, a lemon grass oil, and finally propane flaming. So all of these are being looked at and their interactions to, to hopefully determine what is the best production system for growing organic blueberries and how do they differ in cost?